What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And this is the return of the budget series here on my channel. One of the series that made my channel actually what it is today. Um, I, I have to say that that is probably the most successful series that I've done to date. So I, I figured, guess what? It's been a while. And people are still wondering, people are still commenting on those videos from months ago at this point, asking me what cards that they should try and get now that the game's been out a little bit longer, some of the cards have changed in value, some have gone up, some have gone down. So what I decided to do was put together an updated budget series. And uh, basically what this series is going to be is going to be something pretty similar to what we did with the first series, but instead of comparing the cards to... Uh, a really expensive card. We're actually just going to uh, look at the cards individually by themselves. And I'm just gonna look at those attributes and try and compare them as intelligently as I can based on my knowledge about what is good and what isn't in each given attribute. So, what we're gonna do is actually up our budget a little bit because I know that a lot of you were looking at that budget series and you were saying to yourselves like, Okay, so I understand that this card here for 5,000 coins is good for 5,000 coins, but what about if I have a little bit more than that? What if I have like 15k to spend? What card is the best in that price range? So we're not going to go in the ridiculously expensive range, but we are going to look a little bit higher than what we did in our previous budget series. So welcome to the updated budget series here on my channel, and we're going to start things off with the linebacker position. Starting things off for us in this new budget series is going to be the left outside linebacker position And today we are going to be taking a look at the playoff edition Von Miller 97 overall left outside linebacker card this Specific one is actually a signature edition although you do not need the signature edition uh, That was just the only one of these that was actually up when I started trying to find pictures of this card so don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. You can actually uh, use just the regular one. It has the same attributes, but this card is unreal. Seriously, if you guys haven't tried this one out, look into it. It is an absolute monster. Seriously, it's insane. I'm using it right now as my left defensive end, and it is just beating the crap out of the opposing team's right tackle. So that's something you can definitely do with this card that is not exactly what we're going to talk about here. But this is for people that like to pass rush and like to blitz with their linebackers, particularly people that run 34 defenses. This Von Miller card is exactly what you're looking for. With 92 speed and 98 finesse move, Von Miller is one of the absolute best pass rushers in this game at any position doesn't matter if you put him at defensive end or you keep him at linebacker he is going to get to the quarterback almost as well as any card in this whole game all the way up to you know the ultimate legend cards it doesn't matter this card is still going to be performing at that level if not better than most of those cards so for thirty-three thousand coins this is the best pass rusher that you're going to find anywhere near this price range. It also has 90 hit power, which is pretty nice. The 92 block shedding makes it decent against the run, along with the 80 strength, which isn't really that great, but it's not terrible. He's not going to get completely abused, but you know, it, it's all those things combined that make this card really good. Now, the one area where this Von Miller card does kind of struggle is that it's not very good in coverage. Now, that's not necessarily to say that it can't make plays in coverage, but 62 man coverage and 71 zone coverage are not good. Those are the type of attributes that are going to get you beat most of the time. So I tend to not recommend people to use this card in coverage. If you can, I recommend it as your major pass rusher and you drop it into coverage just to kind of show the offense different looks on defense on occasion. For the most part, though, you're going to want this to be pass rushing and stuffing the run, not playing in coverage. Which brings me to my next card here. And this one is also at the left outside linebacker position. This is C.O. Moore. And C.O. Moore is definitely a card that is a lot better in pass coverage than he is as a pass rusher. So this is kind of the opposite of Von Miller card in a lot of ways. Still pretty good against the run, though. He does have 86 block shed, which isn't spectacular, but it's decent. The 81 strength, very similar to Von Miller. Again, not spectacular, but decent enough. But where this card really makes its money 
is, like I said, in coverage. It actually has 82 zone coverage and 73 man coverage. Now, 73 man coverage doesn't sound that spectacular, but I actually have it listed in green here for a reason. And that reason is that there are only a handful of left outside linebackers in this game that are better than CO Moore in pass coverage, as far as man coverage goes. I know that seems surprising, but the truth is that linebackers just are not built to play in coverage. So, that's why this card is listed as a green in that category. And you're gonna see that throughout this series. You're gonna see attributes that look kind of high in some areas that might not be listed as green. But, you know, like for example, right now, the finesse move is red. That's because 74 finesse move is not good for that position. For a left outside linebacker, that's nothing special. It's actually not good at all. Whereas the 73 for man coverage is significantly better than what you're going to find at that same position at left outside linebacker. So that I hope that makes a little bit of sense anyway. But what I'm kind of getting at here is that this card is a little bit different than the Von Miller, but still very, very valuable and excellent value at 15,000 coins. Um, like I said, you're not going to find a better pass coverage linebacker anywhere near this price range. Um, and, and with the speed and the strength and the pursuit and the play rack, all those type of things, it's a very, very good card and definitely one that I would recommend that people get this final edition CO Moore left outside linebacker, 93 overall, very good in pass coverage and add it to your team. If you're in that 15,000 coin price range and you're looking for a pass coverage linebacker. Moving on now to the middle linebacker position, and we are taking a look at another playoff card here. This is the Team MVP Paul Pozlozny card, and this is one of the better overall linebackers in the game, especially when you're looking at cards that are under 100,000 coins. This is a very, very good card all around. He has great speed at 89 speed. The strength isn't spectacular at only 85, but he's not going to get completely pushed around. His block shedding is still 90, but where he makes his money is that he is a great, great linebacker when it comes to pursuit and play recognition, which makes him very, very good against the run. He also has 90 hit power, which is pretty good, and he is excellent in coverage. 75 man coverage makes him one of the better middle linebackers in man coverage, but 84 zone is very, very good. And when you combine that with the 92 awareness that he has and the 97 play rec, this Paul Pozlesny card, like I said, is one of the better overall linebackers that you're going to find at all in this game. Really, he really is. So I would definitely recommend this one for 33,000 coins if you have the money for it. This is the best linebacker, in my opinion, middle linebacker under 50,000 coins right now in the game. And uh, you can get him for 33,000, so that's a pretty good deal. Moving on, and we are looking at another final edition card now. This is another middle linebacker, Michael Kendricks of the Philadelphia Eagles. This is his final edition 92 overall card. And again, this is another card that really doesn't have many weaknesses. He's not much of a pass rusher, but from middle linebacker, we're not really looking for pass rushing attributes. What we're looking for is somebody that can play against the run well and somebody that can play, make plays in coverage. And that's what Michael Kendricks does. So he actually has 92 speed, which puts him in elite company at the linebacker positions just in general, but especially at middle linebacker. And his 85 strength is very good. 86 block shed, not great, but not bad. He has 92 hit power, which is good. 92 pursuit, which is also pretty good. The 90 play recognition and 84 awareness aren't spectacular, but they're not terrible. But then his uh, coverage attributes at 94 for man coverage and 79 for zone coverage are excellent. So that's another card that you're, if you're looking for an overall linebacker for 12,000 coins, it really doesn't get much better than this Michael Kendricks card. And not to mention, you can actually use him and put him into collection if you end up not liking him down the road. So that's another nice bonus for this Michael Kendricks card and one that definitely makes him worth the 12,000 coin price tag. The third middle linebacker in today's video is a card that I actually use. And the card that I'm actually talking about here is the 95 overall Derek Johnson Elite Middle Linebacker card. This is an, an absolute beast. The only thing that I can find that he isn't great at is hit power. 
at only 84, that's really not that great. Um, it's not completely horrible. He's not just going to get run over and things like that, but he doesn't force a lot of fumbles. I do have to admit that, which is a little bit disappointing. And, and some of you I know are used to your linebackers forcing a lot of fumbles. And in that case, maybe this isn't the card for you. But if you're somebody like me who ju is just looking for your linebackers to not make mistakes and to play the run well, and when they're in coverage, they can actually make plays, this is the one for you. I'm sure you guys have seen my videos over the past months. I've had this card for like two and a half, three months now, and video after video after video, you see me usering him getting interceptions, you see me not usering him, and he still gets interceptions, and that's because he's got 84 zone coverage, which again, puts him in elite company at the linebacker position. 84 zone coverage is incredible. 76 man coverage is also very, very good. So definitely a card that can play and keep up with most tight ends. Now granted, the tight end position is kind of the most spammed thing that you're going to find in Mutt, so he is going to get beat from time to time, but that's just because that's just how the game is made. It's not because the card isn't good. Trust me, this card is an absolute beast in coverage. Attributes tell you that, and he plays like it as well. He also has 94 Pursuit, which is great, 95 Awareness, and 96 Play Rec, which all contribute to him being a great player against the run, so I, I don't worry about him missing tackles. If my opponent's running a lot on me, you're going to notice that instead of controlling him, I tend to control other players on my defense who maybe aren't quite as good at finding the, the where the running back is going to go. So I user them and try and do it manually at that point. Whereas this Derek Johnson card, I just let him do it on his own because he pretty much gets the job done. So again, for 14,000 coins, this is an awesome middle linebacker. I highly, highly recommend it. And like I said, I used it on my own team. So it's definitely a card that I can say works for me. Now, the last of the middle linebackers is one that is the cheapest of the bunch, and it's definitely the worst of them, but it's still a good card. So you're going to see that there are actually three areas where this card is actually red, which means that in comparison to the other middle linebackers that are in the game, it's not very good. Strength, hit power, and man coverage. Now, man coverage, that's not particularly surprising. Uh, there aren't a lot of great middle linebackers in coverage. Now, this card is particularly not so good in man coverage. However, I tend to not really worry so much about that. And the reason for that is because personally, I don't put my middle linebackers in man coverage that often. I tend to drop them into zones if I can, because they just seem to play better in zones than they do in man coverage against tight ends. So that's kind of what I try to do, which kind of negates the 67 man coverage. 74 zone coverage isn't spectacular, but it's still pretty good. But where this card is really, really great is that it has 98 play recognition and 96 awareness, along with 93 pursuit, and it still has 87 speed. So while it not might not be able to get the interceptions that some of the other middle linebackers are, it actually is still going to do a pretty decent job in coverage. It's going to make up for the zone coverage being only a 74 because it has such good play recognition that when they run play action, he doesn't really fall for it. Same thing with the awareness. I think all both of those attributes kind of contribute to that a little bit. And then the 87 speed does make him a decent enough to be able to st uh, step in front of passes and make up for it if he does for some reason get out of position. But the Pursuit, the 93 Pursuit, also still a very, very good attribute, and he's going to do a great job against the run as well. So overall, this is a pretty darn good middle linebacker card, and for only 10,000 coins, he's almost right on the border of where he would have been in the previous budget series. So if this is kind of an upgrade that you guys want to make from what we had in the previous videos, yeah, this card is a little bit better than what you're going to find in those ones, so I would recommend making the upgrade if you've got just a couple extra coins to go up to 10,000. Moving on now, and we are on to the right outside linebacker position. And again, this is another card that, similar to the Von Miller, is not great in coverage. It's actually pretty bad in coverage, but it is an absolute beast when it comes to pass rushing. This card has 97 finesse move along with 89 speed. It also has excellent play recognition at 93 and a 90 pursuit, which is pretty darn good as well. Now the 82 strength isn't great and the 85 block shed isn't particularly great. They're not bad attributes necessarily, but they're just not spectacular. But like I said, 
where you're gonna find this card being an absolute monster is the fact that it has 97 finesse move and 89 speed. It gets after the quarterback. If you pair this with the 97 Von Miller card that we looked at in the left outside linebacker cards, these two are going to crush opposing quarterbacks, even against very, very good offensive linemen. So if you're looking for an outside linebacker in a 3-4 defense, or if you like to blitz with your outside linebackers, even out of a 43 defense, these are the cards to look at. Now, you can, of course, put them also at defensive end, which will negate any coverage attributes that they have, like the man coverage and zone coverage. You're not really going to see defensive ends drop into coverage very often in Madden, unless you're running some kind of weird defense or if you intentionally drop them into coverage. So anyway, yeah, that's definitely something that I would recommend doing if for some reason you are worried too much about the coverage attributes, but try not to be because, you know, most linebackers, like I said, aren't spectacular in coverage anyway. These ones are still gonna be great against the run though, and they're also gonna do great things in pass rushing. For 33,000 coins, Robert Mathis is probably the best pass rusher that you're gonna find at the right outside linebacker position. So I would definitely recommend investing in him if you've got that many coins and you're looking for a good pass rusher. Last but not least now, we actually have a card that I was kind of surprised by because Danny Trevathan is an underrated NFL player and Football Outsiders put out a pretty decent card for and This is an elite 95 overall Football Outsiders, Danny Trevathan, 90 speed, which is impressive. It's definitely higher than what I would recommend for him if I were creating the cards, but still 90 speed is beastly. 88 strength is pretty good. Pursuit at 91 is solid. Play Rack at 94 is solid as well. He actually has pretty darn solid attributes kind of across the board. The only thing that he isn't great at is pass rushing. And 85 power move isn't terrible. It's not great though, but that 57 finesse move is no good. Uh, most people would say that finesse move is the more overpowered pass rushing attribute in this game. So if you're looking for a pass rusher, Danny Trevathan is not your guy. However, if you're looking for another coverage linebacker to go with some of the other guys that you have, Danny Trevathan is excellent. This card's about 21,000 coins right now. And seriously, at 73 man coverage, again, I know that doesn't sound great, but there are only a handful of right outside linebackers that are higher than that. 73 is very, very good for a linebacker in coverage. And 82 zone coverage, again, only a handful of guys are better. So when you put those two together, we're talking about one of the absolute best pass coverage linebackers in this game, along with the fact that he's still pretty good against the run. So I highly recommend this card. Again, with the 90 speed, he's also a good card to user control. So I really like this card. I would highly recommend it for 21,000 coins. You're not gonna find a better combination of pass coverage and run stuffing than this card. Again, the only thing that he sucks at is pass rushing. So. If you're looking for that, look for another card. Look at that Robert Mathis that was in the previous slide. So with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this first episode of the updated budget series. Again, this was the linebackers position. Sorry it went a little bit long. I'm gonna try and cut it down a little bit for the future videos, but I wanted to make sure that I explained what we're doing in this video and explained kind of why some of the cards were yellow and green and red and different attributes when it didn't kind of make sense at first. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And also please recommend some cards. If you guys, if I miss something or if, if there's another card out there that you guys want to recommend, definitely leave it in the comment section below. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. If you like this updated budget series, please let me know with a like. And also, please leave some comments. If you could subscribe to my channel if you're new, I would greatly appreciate that. Share this video with your friends. Help them build a new, better, updated budget squad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.